we are live, 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 and I've got just a quick craft for y'all today. Um, so we are going to make a flag out of straws, okay? So let's go down to the desk, and I'll show you what we're doing. And again, if you're here, please say hello so I can know that you are here. It doesn't cost a bit extra, it doesn't. All right, so I'm going to show you a few things. These are some of the supplies. These are paper straws. These are from Hobby Lobby. Now, here's the story. When I got them, I had no idea how I was going to use them. No clue, y'all. And then I got them home, and I was like, I really want to make a flag out of these. But, y'all, I'm a straw girl. I love me a straw, right? Got me a straw right here on my Real Housewives of Noonan Cup. But this is one of those... Um, those plastic, rubber, whatever they're called. So, okay, y'all, these are paper straws. And like I said, this is going to be a very quick and easy craft. Okay, so I'm using the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. This bad boy comes with all these attachments, right? All these different tips. And y'all, this is its refill. I mean, who would not love this? I just, I love, I love him in my life, okay? Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to use this one, and it's a great paper glue. And I'm using it because my little box top here is, is kind of separating. This was a, a whole box top, and I saved it because it was, you know, good, sturdy quality, that kind of thing. And I thought, one day I'll make something out of it. Well, then I got home with my straws, and I'm like, hold up. I got a something that I can make. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this part together right here. Just put me some glue, uh-oh, on here. Boop, like this. Hold it together for just a second, and oops, the glue is coming out, but that's okay. That's all right. It can, it can do that, because we're never going to care about the back of it anyway, right? Right. Just do this. Hey, Karen. Oh, playing hooky from class. We're doing a very quick and easy craft today, Karen. And I'm using a piece of a lid. You recognize this is a Stampin' Up! at Christmas. We got some goodies in this little box. Um, and I'm using my Barely Art glue. Now, I'm going to paint the sides of my box. That's all I got to do is just paint the sides. And we're going to make a flag... Oh, y'all, you know, I, it can't be the Kathy Bow Crafting Show if I'm not covered in paint or ink or something, right? And the good thing is, I'm not a high-maintenance girl. I'm not. So I'll probably wear my paint proudly. Okay. And then people are like, you, you got a little paint right there. And I'm like, no, I got a lot of paint right there. <laughs> yep. Okay, so I'm just painting the sides. And it's, it's just acrylic paint. This is the... Um, apple barrel and I just like the color. I think the the color's kind of neat. Okay, so we're going to start working on the st the straw the stars. <laughs> Easy for me to say, right? Okay, I'm going to want my stars to go about to there. So I'm going to get my really good my really good Tim Holtz um shears here and let's see. I want it about that long. So maybe I'll get even three out of this one. We're just going to cut the straws down. It looks like I'm going to get three. And do they have to be perfect? Well, not really, because it's the Kathy Bow Crafting Show, and anything can happen. Things can be imperfect, and we still love them. Oops, look, okay. Not perfect, but hey, I'll trim it down just a wee. I trim it just a wee bit, just a wee bit. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to have those right there. And then I'll use one of them to show me where to cut the next ones. I'm going to want five lengths. So the, the stars are actually, they're going to last me a while, okay? The stripes are the ones that are going to get used up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. Well, I'm going to put my little stars on here, and yeah, I'm still getting paint on me, y'all. It's okay. It's all right. When I started this live, I was I didn't think, uh-oh, I'm going to need to dry my paint. Didn't even think about it, but it's okay. I'm wearing camo today. Can y'all see my camo? Nobody is going to be able to even see me in my camo, right? Right, exactly. Nobody. 
So who's who's to worry? Who is to worry? Here we go. All right. I got one, two, three, four. Uh-oh. Number five says, not yet, not yet. Okay, so Ninja Man took me out to breakfast this morning, y'all. And y'all, I have been, I've loved bacon and eggs and sausage and eggs and pretty much any kind of eggs that you want for most of my life. But y'all, I can't eat them now. <laughs> yeah, so well, he took me out to breakfast. And y'all, I'm y'all know, I mean, I'm like trying to be good, trying not to eat sugar, all this stuff. But I don't want to eat that mess either that they are selling us. So, um, y'all, I put just a teeny bit of syrup on one pancake. I got like the kid's plate. And and I was happy with that. Oh, okay, so I'm cutting my little... <laughs> I'm cutting my little red ones. It's going to look like it's waving, okay? And y'all might want to know, what am I going to do with this? Well, here's the story. Here's what I'm going to do. I am loving my three-tiered tray. And I'm finding cute little things that I want to go on it. So I'm making, you know, I'm making little things. And this is not going to be the focal piece. This will kind of be in the background a little bit. Because, um... Here we go. Put that there. Because I, I can do that. I can have just this in the background and it, will, it won't look like a bunch of cardboard straw things. Really, it won't. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look pretty cool, y'all. How do I know that? Well, there might be one right over there that, um, oops, okay, I cut that too short and I, and I really couldn't afford to do that, y'all. Okay, so this last little bit, y'all, I've got to I got to piece it together, but, but it's okay. It's okay. Nobody will even know. All right. So here we go. Now what I'll do here is trim all of that. And then I'll come and put a second coat on the, on the blue. And I'll show y'all a bit of how it's going to look. Hold on. I got to stick that one back on. All right. This is how it's going to look. And you know, this has two coats on it. It's got all my little straws on it. I just cut the edges and I'm going to lay all this down so y'all can get an idea of how it's going to look finished. Like just pretend it's in that little tray. Oh, and I'll use one of these little Jenga blocks to put on the back so it will stand up. But I didn't want to do that until I've laid it all out. Here's the little truck that's going to go with it. Y'all, Y'all, I found this at um, Dollar General for $5. Now, would it would it hold up outside with birds? Probably one season, if we're lucky. So I'm going to use this. Thank you, Nyoka. I'm going to use this for my three-tiered tray. All right, so, you know, you kind of get an idea. Move teddy bear glue. You kind of get an idea of how all of this is going to come together. This is the little bucket thing we made. And, um... Dollar General, Hobby Lobby. These straws are Hobby Lobby. So I saw these in Dollar Tree, and I think there was three in one of the packs, and there was two in another. I don't know if there's any difference for a dollar, right? And then I just used some, I stripped, I didn't cut. I literally ripped my fabric so it would be a little rough on the edges. And then my little flags, you know, that I've had for ages, and I just didn't know what to do with them, right? So, and I know y'all getting tired of seeing this, but y'all, it's too cute. And then here's the gnome. So all of these guys are going to be on my, on my three-tiered tray. And I'll probably, I'll probably put it together toward the end of June because y'all, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. This is Hobby Lobby. And I put one of the Jenga blocks on the back so he can stand up, right? Um, where'd I get it? The little trailer. Oh, okay, this was at Dollar General. Dollar General, and it was $5. I love this little truck. I, I didn't have to do a thing to it, but I did drop it in the store, and I had to mix some paint and get the right color, and I fixed that little that little place right here. So thanks, you guys, for joining me. And, and if you want these straws, they're at Hobby Lobby. Just pick out a little box, you know, cut it up, whatever, and boom, you got yourself a cute little... Cute little something to put in the back of the other stuff. Like I said, it's not the focal point. Okay, guys. Love y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out. And God bless. Toodles. Thanks so much for checking out my video, y'all. Wanted to show you um, the tray that everything went on. The beads, uh, the beaded garland, and the puppy dog. Those are from Hobby Lobby. 
the little flag that we made today is behind that gnome right there. And on the very top tier is the truck. And, you know, we're always asking you guys to like and share. Please do subscribe if you like my channel. It sure will help. Thanks and God bless.